this will be all the rave as Mega Ran signing off here with Super Dave. Hey! And we are back at Kapow Comics and Coffee. This is your man, Super Dave Rains from Big Show Entertainment Network with Super Dave Rains and the Big Show for a special event here at Kapow Comics and Coffee. We've got Artist Showcase. The legendary Bob Hall is here today. But we've got another legend with us, uh, Nathaniel Hamill. Uh, welcome back to Super Dave Rains and the Big Show. Uh, it's been a, it's been too long since we we yeah since we've been able to catch up with you. I know you've been busy, and uh, but uh, it's so good to have you back on the show. And we're here to talk with Nathaniel about his plans for Denver Comic Con, which is coming up in six days, and I'm very stressed. <laughs> so tell me, tell the fans what you've got in store for Denver Comic Con. Well. I will be debuting my book, Barbarians. Um, it is an epic battle story of two barbarians uh, stuck in this world of nonstop battle. Um, Justin White is the writer of the story. Uh, I was the designer and creator of the idea, and together, me and Justin, or excuse me, Justin and I, have really pushed forward to make this thing come together. Um, and to me, it, it, it plays into uh, the importance of um, like free the nipple. Uh, to me, that's really important. Uh, the oversexualization of females uh, in general is 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 not necessary. And I think uh, these characters are a great representation of how people should be drawn. Uh, in comic books. Um, there's no need for drawing uh, characters in these sexual poses when they're in battle. To me, that's ridiculous. So I drew these characters, and they're two female barbarians, um, as if I was drawing Conan. Um, you know, and then there's this book, uh, Shirtless Bear Fighter, that came out, and there's just tons of nudity in that, and there's blurred sections, and it's just a lot of fun. And I think this is a perfect opportunity and, and timing for the book that I'm working on with Justin White to come out because it is a desensitizing people to the idea of what the public perceives as nudity. And there is a lot uh, in, going on in the book. It's not so much a message within the book, but a message within the illustration of the book. The book itself is definitely for mature audiences only uh, in regards to the amount of violence and uh, um, the content of dialogue. It's pretty crass, but it's, it's me having fun. A lot of artists uh, that have worked for Marvel and DC uh, wanted to get back to the roots of drawing, and one of my favorite books was this book called Battle Pug, and um, I want to say it's Mike Norton uh, drew the book and I apologize if that name is incorrect, but I remember reading him stating that he just wanted to have fun. You know, there's a lot of deadlines and a lot of grinding when it comes to working in comics, and it will wear you down uh, as a person, as, as a father, as a, a, a loved one, as a lover. It wears you down as everything. Like, comic book artists don't live past 70 because we're constantly stressed. Um, so I wanted to have fun again. And when he put out these books, uh, Battle Pug, I was just like all over it. And I, I read them and they were ridiculous with character and they were ridiculous with design. And there was so much fun within the story. I was like, you know what, I'm going to do that. And uh, I broke my neck a while back. And because of that, I, I don't have the dexterity in my hand anymore. Uh, I can't get the clean lines that I wanted. Uh, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to have fun. It, it hurts to draw these really technical, clean lines. So I'm going to grab my brush pin, I'm going to grab an, uh, a water pin, and I'm just going to ink wash and smack brush line down, and I'm going to have nothing but enjoyment within this project. And it's, it's nice to know that if I make a mistake, it doesn't matter, because it's my book. If, uh, if it offends somebody, it doesn't matter. It's my book. If they don't like it, don't read it. If you do like it, pass it on. Uh, I, I'm really excited for the Denver Comic Con because it'll be 
the first convention that this book will be debuting in. I talked about it uh, at numerous conventions uh, last year, and I think a couple at the beginning of this year uh, about me working on, wanting to work on this project. So here it is, uh, Barbarians. A, a, uh, yeah, can we get can we get that in there? Two badasses. Was, yeah, can we get that on camera? Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. I had to put this on because I respect the owner of the store. But uh, this is the original art here. Right there. This is the Barbarians. That's amazing, Nathaniel. I, I tell you, uh, first off, um, you know, we're, we're glad you're here. Um, you know, that's a, that's a tough thing to go through when you have any kind of physical... Um, you know, uh, disruption in your life. So we're very happy that you're here, just and just don't let it be a crutch. Yeah, absolutely. But we're we're happy to see you here and recovered and and going strong. Congratulations on the uh, on the uh, book. Um, you know, we wish you great success at Denver Comic Con, and I hope to succeed a little, I hope to su succeed a little bit. If I sell 10 books at the con, I'll be happy. Yeah, well, we're going to try our best to help you with that, too. So, folks, buy the book. So we'll have all that information in this video for that. Uh, let me ask you, because you, you, you said, you know, this is a tough industry, and it, it really is very stressful. How, do, how have you been able to balance everything to keep going? Uh when I first started out trying to get into this industry, I was contacting artists after artist after artist and writers uh, online, literally just messaging them on Facebook, finding my favorite books, realizing that these are independent books, and knowing that they're always looking for pinup artists. So I broke in through pinup art with connections and networking and uh, was able to get myself published a couple times and get myself in front of uh, editors and CEOs of companies and then when the work started flowing in uh, I, I had to be prepared for that and I realized that sleep isn't sleep is needed but it's not that important um, you can <laughs> it's no joke uh, you, you need your body needs at least two hours a day um, so however you want to do that two hours a day. Um, when I first broke into this, uh, doing this as a paid artist, I, uh, I was a full-time dad. I was going to school full-time and I still had a part-time job and then I was drawing full-time. Um, so I, I didn't really have time for sleep. So I got down to about two hours a night and um, I've been doing that for about seven years. Uh, recently, the last year and a half, I've been getting about six hours a night, which is more of a regular. But I'm a, you know, I have my kids almost every day, and I have a part-time job, and my my girlfriend is amazing, and she works uh, two part or two almost two full-time jobs, and we fight to make things work. And you just have to, if it's something that you're passionate about, you have to realize that you have to sacrifice your wants outside of um, a roof over your head and, and food and r responsibilities of like taking care of your family you you can't have all these extra things like going out and partying you can't uh, I'm old and that hurts anyways but social life you have to give up quite a bit um, but the end goal is is to do something that you love and being able to do it all the time and then people will pay you for it um, and then you can you can survive on what you love. And that's what, to me, I'd rather be poor and happy than rich and unhappy. And I've said that a hundred times over. Um, and I will stay, stay true to that. I am poor, but I am happy. Happy. Well, that's what's important. And I, I you know, I would agree with you. Um, you know, all the money in the world doesn't matter one iota if you're not happy. Uh, but uh, we're glad you're happy. We're glad you're here. What's your girlfriend's name? Uh, Amy Arduini. Hey, Amy. <laughs> wow. She's right there. Wow. That, that man. Uh, wow. What an inspiration you are. Um, 
you know, we, we are, you know, I think this is the second time we've talked and we, you know, we're going to continue to cover your career going forward. Your drawings are unbelievable. Uh, I may have to have you do a sketch for me today. Uh, so uh, just just so happy to see you doing very, very well. Once again, uh, let's, uh, let's plug the uh, book one more time. It's Barbarians. Uh, the book is Barbarians, a story of two badasses. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Nathaniel Hamill is badass. So, folks, you want to check in with Nathaniel and Langdon. I think you guys are going to be sharing a booth at DCC. Am I correct? Yep, G21. G21. You'll see me there. You'll see Langdon Foss there. And this badass man, Nathaniel Hamill, will be there by the Barbarians. It is definitely uh, something you should uh, look into. I think I'm going to get my, my copy today um, and probably get it autographed so you guys don't try to take it from me. I know you want it. <laughs> it's kind of sweet, not going to lie. It's kind of sweet. Yeah, absolutely. So, Nathaniel, thank you for coming on Super Dave Reigns and the Big Show. We will see you at Denver Comic Con uh, this uh, weekend coming up. And uh, good luck with the book. Um, one, just one more question. Have you seen uh, Transformers yet, the new one? I don't, I don't go to movies. I don't, I don't ever get a chance to go out. Yeah. That's one of those many things that you have to give up. Uh, I haven't seen Wonder Woman. I haven't seen um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I haven't... Uh, I went and seen um, old, uh, Logan. Uh, I didn't expect to cry as much as I did, but I did, and it was amazing. Um, but... That was the last movie I've seen in the theater, and that was only because uh, it was a gift. I don't ever have time. so I feel you. I feel you. Well, folks, Nathaniel Hamill on Super Dave Reigns and the Big Show, pre-DCC Comic Con interview. So happy to have you uh, on the show. Be checking him out at booth G21 up at the Denver Convention Center and buy the book Barbarians. It's going to be, it's, it's just, I can't wait to get into it myself. So thank you so much. I would love any kind of reviews. Tag me on them. Find me, Nathaniel Hamill. Uh, if you like it, yeah. if you like the book, awesome. If you don't like the book, awesome. Still talk about it. Right, exactly. Uh, you know, all publicity is good publicity, yeah. <laughs> good and bad. So where can everybody find you on social media real quick? The best place is to find me on Facebook. Uh, the spelling of my name is a little bit different. N-A-T-H-A-N-I-A-L. So if you find me there, you can't miss this face. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. So hit me up, message me, friend request me. I'm down. I'm always willing to talk. If you have questions about the book or even questions on illustration itself, uh, I'm always there to help. Awesome. Well, thanks, folks. We're going to uh, catch you a little bit later. Nathaniel Hamill, once again, on Super Dave Reigns and the Big Show, right here at Kapow Comics and Coffee. And until next time on the love.